circle practice set 3.2 question number 2 Two circles of radii 5.5 cm and 4.2 cm touch each other externally. Find the distance between their centers. Solution. Let the two circles having the centers P and R touch each other externally at point Q. Here, the radius of the first circle PQ is equal to 5.5 cm and radius of second circle QR is equal to 4.2 cm. The two circles touch each other externally. Therefore, by the theorem of touching circles, the distance between the centers of the circle touching externally is equal to the sum of their radii. So, PR is equal to PQ plus QR, which is equal to 5.5 plus 4.2, which gives 9.7 cm. The distance between the center of the circles touching externally is equal to the sum of their radii. Question number 3. If the radii of the two circles are 4 cm and 2.8 cm, draw the figure of these circles touching each other, first externally and second internally. Solution First, circles touching externally. Externally touching circles will not share their interiors, so they will look like this. Second, circles touching internally. Internally touching circles will have common interior points. Smaller circles will lie inside the bigger one, so they will look like this. Question number 4. In the adjoining figure, the circle with centers P and Q touch each other at R. A line passing through R meets the circle at A and B respectively. Prove that, first, sec AP is parallel to sec BQ, second, triangle APR is similar to triangle RQB, and third, find the angle RQB if... Angle PAR is 35 degree. Solution The circles with center P and Q touch each other at R. Therefore, by theorem of touching circles, PRQ, that is first, in triangle PAR, sec PA is equal to sec PR, that is the radii of the same circle. Therefore, angle PRA is congruent to angle PAR, that is equation number 1, which is by isosceles triangle theorem. They are the base angles of the triangle. Similarly, in triangle QBR, sec QR is equal to sec QB, radii of the same circle. Therefore, angle RBQ is congruent to angle QRB. That is equation number 2, isosceles triangle theorem. Base angles are equal in measure is a, in an isosceles triangle theorem. But angle PRA is congruent to angle QRB, that is equation number 3, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle PAR is congruent to angle RBQ, that is equation number 4, from equation 1 and 2. But they are a pair of alternate angles found by the transversal AB on sec AP and sec BQ. Therefore, sec AP is parallel to sec BQ, that is by alternate angle test. In triangle APR and triangle RQB, angle PAR is congruent to angle QRB from equation number 1 and 3. Angle APR is congruent to angle RQB, alternate angles. Therefore, triangle APR is similar to triangle RQB, AA test of similarity. Now, in third sub-question, angle PAR is equal to 35 degree that is given. Therefore, angle RBQ is equal to angle PAR is equal to 35 degree from equation number 4. Therefore, in triangle RQB, angle RQB plus angle RBQ plus angle QRB is equal to 180 degree that is by sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, Angle RQB plus angle RBQ plus angle RBQ is equal to 180 degree from equation number 2. Therefore, angle RQB plus 2 angle RBQ is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle RQB plus 2 into 35 degree is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle RQB plus 70 is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle RQB is equal to 110 degrees. Question number 5. In the adjoining figure, the circles with center A and B touch each other at E. Line L is a common, ten 
लाइन एल इज अ कॉमन टेंजेंट विच टच इज अ सर्कल एट सी एंड डी रिस्पेक्टिवली फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ सेक्स सी डी इफ द रेडिया ऑफ द सर्कल इज फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर कंस्ट्रक्शन ड्रॉ सेक ए एफ परपेंडिकुलर टू सेक बी डी सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट द सर्कल विद सेंटर ए एंड बी टच ईच अदर एट ई विच इज गिवेन दे फोर बाय द थियरम ऑफ टचिंग सर्कल्स ए ई बी हियर therefore angle acd is equal to angle bdc which is equal to 90 degree tangent theorem therefore angle afd is equal to 90 degree by construction angle caf is equal to 90 degree since it is the remaining angle of triangle afdc therefore afdc is a triangle each angle is of measure 90 degree therefore ac is equal to df is equal to 4 cm because they are opposite side of the triangle now BD is equal to BF plus DF, BFC. That is, point F lies between B and C. It's given that the radius of the bigger circle is six centimeter. That is, BD is equal to six centimeter. Therefore, six is equal to BF plus four. Therefore, BF is equal to two centimeter. Also, AB is equal to AE plus EB, which you can see from the figure. That is, AB is equal to four plus six is equal to ten centimeter. The distance between the center of the circle touching externally is equal to the sum of their radii. Now, in triangle AFB, angle AFB is equal to ninety degree. That is by construction. Therefore, AB square is equal to AF square plus BF square using Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, ten square is equal to AF square plus four. Hundred is equal to AF square plus four. Therefore, AF square is equal to ninety six. Therefore, AF is equal to under root of ninety six. That is by taking the square root on both the sides. Therefore, we get AF is equal to under root sixteen into six, which gives four under root six centimeter. But CD is equal to AF, opposite side of our triangle. Therefore, CD is equal to four under root six centimeter. Thank you for watching this video and keep watching the academic squad